just exploded. Classic scene. Oh, he had a headache. It looked like, it looked pretty realistic for that time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And you slow it down, you see the face like peel over. <laughs> I mean, that's a mess that nobody wants to clean up. I would not want to do that to my friends or loved ones. Um, that one is great because I think everybody came away and um, at least trying to blow up the head of one person they hated. I mean, it, it, it was great. I still don't know how it's done. I'd still be impressed if I saw it today, even though, you know, even with CGI and stuff, it still, it still has impact. You could have avoided all of that with the right amount of Advil. It would have just came right back down. Only Wes Craven would dream up a doggy door in a garage door killing somebody. That was creative. I mean, it's awesome because it's a young Rose McGowan who became such like a horror vixen later in her career. She got hit in the nuts with a beer bottle. She really shows off her butt in that short skirt. It's like it's like my dad, who, you know, always said, "Big boobies will kill you." <laughs> I think it led to massive increase in boob reduction, so people could slip out of doors in small spaces easily if they had to. You know, people didn't go to their garage to get beers for like months after seeing this movie. I'm, I'm just kidding, that would never happen. It's pure Romero, man, at his best. That shit was awesome. Gets shot by a zombie. What is that about? And the salute. He definitely goes out gangster. Oh! See, this is the point where I have to kind of look away. Oh, man, that was gross. That's the beauty of a zombie movie, is that it's heavy on the entrails. This makes me feel like I need a hug. I could not eat SpaghettiOs for years after this. I eat a hamburger. Zombie eats me, you know, circle life. As he's being pulled apart, he's like, I gotta have a good closing line. And he says, choke on it! That's what you say in a porno movie or something. That's pretty stylish zombie. Hipster zombie. Hipster zombies! Ooh, now this is a personal favorite of mine. It starts out really good with Johnny Depp in a half shirt, which there's not really anything better than that. I mean, he was kind of asking for it, showing all that skin in that belly shirt, right? He, he should be punished for that half shirt. <laughs> it was the 80s. What do you want? For me, the sinking into the bed was one thing. Like, we all have some cheap mattresses once in a while, but you don't turn into the guy that's blood. That's what did it for me. Kind of just shuts you up for a little while. You go, whoa, what just happened? The mom walking in is a great reaction shot. I would have assumed like she would have thought it was like plumbing gone wrong or something, but she's like, she, it's like she immediately knows her son is a blood volcano. That is like the blood of 50 Johnny Depps. If the half jersey shirt is coming back, I really hope that a few more teenagers get sucked into their mattress and a blood geyser comes forth just to teach the other teenagers not to do it. It's worth it. I never noticed how good the water pressure is in there before. So happy. Great water pressure. Getting my clean on. That's sexy. It's a naked woman. Before she's attacked, this looks like the most enjoyable shower ever. Oh, sh not a th Oh, sh Oh, no. That old lady is stabbing the hell out of her. Here's what I would do. I'd reach over. Grab my shampoo. I think a nice squirt of that to the eyes might deter the attacker and just try to dash out. See, we don't even know if that's blood or poop, though, because it's in black and white. What is it about black and white that makes things scarier? Black and white makes everything scarier. I was watching Rugrats in black and white. That's scary, like... Shucky? Reptar? Terrifying. 